Okay then, YouTubers, it's uh, Wednesday the 7th of September. I'm here with my FLIR camera at Trent College. Um, we bought it with the Institute of Physics money that we got as a little grant. Um, so what am I doing? Well, you might recognize down the bottom here is my hot hand. Um, and there is, it's a Bunsen burner. So hold on, let's get some gas on. Back a match. Ooh. Oh, there's my match. You can see the match. Oh, and we've got some Bunsen flame. Actually, look, we can have the uh, have on here. Look, there we've got the flame from my lit match in the front. You can see that, can't you? And you can see. So at the moment, it's focused on that. So you can see how yellow it is. Um, the top scale, if you look on the side, is 410 degrees. So that's at least 400. It's going white hot. Let's just shake that out. We'll get rid. And now it's going to focus on the Bunsen burner. We could also count, couldn't we, a little? And you can see the flame. And because it's a yellow flame, you can see part of it is really hot. Part of it is not so hot. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn it onto the blue flame. Let's see what happens when I let some air in. So we should know from our chemistry studies um, or physics that when you let some air in, it gets hotter. Um, now this Bunsen burner, it's not the best Bunsen burner. It's really nice, it's really new, but the cone, the blue cone, I'm going to trace it out, you can see with my hand, the blue cone actually kind of stops about here. So the tip of the blue cone is really quite high. You might be expecting it to be quite tight down here, but it's not. So if we're in a real image, you'd see here, you can see where I've lit, just put that out again. So I'm going to put it in, there is about the tip of the blue flame, okay? And if we look at the colours, that's where it's pretty much the hottest, where the white part is, right up here at the top. That's where it's hottest, and at the bottom is cooler, and blue is really cool. So that's when chemistry teachers always say, well, you've got to put it in the cone at the top, and the infrared camera is showing that beautifully, okay? Now, so that's one idea to look at with flames. I'm going to do one more, okay? So let's just turn on to safety flame. It's going to move that out of the way. Okay, so I've just got a bit of black paper. I'm going to light a match. So the match is coming in. There's a match. I'm going to light it now. Let's watch what happens as I do the strip. So right, white hot there. And then our flame's going to get going. 160, 200. Look at the scale going up. It's, so it's auto calibrating. It's auto sensing. The maximum this camera will do is 400 degrees. And we're up to 400. So it's going white, isn't it? Um, my fingers, put it into camera, look, there's my fingers. You can see it in the background. Obviously there, it's pretty white at the end, isn't it? And I can move it around a bit, but that's a match, isn't it? There's the difference between a match. And we'll put the Bunsen back in. There's our Bunsen flame. So there we go. So a little bit of physics fun in the afternoon. Uh, if you like it, please subscribe. I'm gonna do a whole series more of these FLIR videos of lots of practicals in the lab. So um, please come back and enjoy.